Are you prone to pessimism or unhappiness? Are you easily triggered by what people say to you? Do you have your buttons pushed very quickly, very easily? You have a bad temper? Are you moody? Do you feel victimized? If you answered yes to any of these questions, then I have a solution for you. A real relief. Hi, my name is Wafa, and I'm here to share with you a mechanism that works wonders in dealing with your negativity. It's truly a transformative technique. It has changed my life drastically. It has made it better. My relationships are infinitely better. My life is easier. I have less stress. I'm happier for longer periods. I'm much more productive. I have much more clarity and more focus. And it is very simple. It is free of charge. And you can test it for yourself. You can see and gauge the results for yourself very quickly. This technique is derived from a magnificent best-selling book by Dr. David R. Hawkins. It's called the Letting Go Technique. And the book is called Letting Go, The Pathway of Surrender. Dr. Hawkins is an MD, psychiatrist, and a PhD, and he is a sage, a spiritual sage. There are many ways that people deal with negative feelings, but most of us have let them pile up year after year since we were young until we have become reservoirs of negativity. And those feelings have not disappeared. Even though we suppress them, we repress them, we deny them, we escape from them, they're still there. Only they not, may not be visible, but they're inside. They're festering and they are the cause of practically all diseases and illnesses, both mental and physical. Unfortunately, it is very difficult to understand this because we tend to use our thoughts because we're thinking humans, thinking beings. We rationalize, we explain, we vent, we justify, we blame others, we project. And so we never really, really address them. Even in psychotherapy, what we do is talk a lot about them. So many thoughts and, you know, we explain that they're caused by our childhood, our parents, whatever, our circumstances. But why do we keep going year after year after year after year and not really finding true resolution? Because we don't really learn. We're not really taught to actually address the feelings and stop all the thinking. The pain body stays there and the monkey mind keeps it going. Blaming others is one of the best things that we all do. We're constantly blaming our circumstances, constantly blaming others. We blame our boyfriend, our daughter, our you know, it's politicians. Everything is someone else's fault. Well, this technique is about stopping the blame game. Nothing is to blame. Not other people, not events. Your reaction belongs to you. We are responsible for our lives. We are responsible for our feelings and we are responsible for how we feel. The technique is simply this. When you feel a negative feeling come up and your body is a wonderful indicator you immediately feel a twinge of anxiety or anger 
or frustration or you feel sweaty palms or flustered or you know we each are a little bit different but generally our bodies are really are the first to tell us something is off course and we get angry we get depressed when we start feeling that we stop if we can we move our situation if we are in the midst of a conversation or, or an argument with somebody and we sit allowing our feelings to come up be felt be experienced fully and be surrendered to and let go the letting go happens of on its own accord by the sitting and feeling the energy behind the feeling dissipates and slowly but surely and it happens within a few minutes. I mean, it might sound like it takes a long time. It really takes two, three, four minutes, depending on the situation and the level of your anxiety and your fear or whatever emotions is there. Or if you can't even explain it or label it, just um, I'm, feeling f I'm feeling bad, I'm feeling hurt, I'm feeling uncomfortable, I'm feeling fear. And I'm going to feel it all the way. I'm going to sit with the discomfort. I'm going to let her petter out. I like that. <laughs> petter out. <laughs> Letting it, the energy behind it dissipate and dissolve it. You know, just really like you're pushing something out of a tube. Like, you know, the, your toothpaste or whatever. Just pushing it out of that. Or, you know, a pimple that you've been squeezing. You know, it hurts, but... You take that out and generally it feels better and it's exactly the thing you do with your feelings you allow it to come up and you don't resist it and you let it come out you know and and you feel it and you will get lighter your energy will immediately lift up you will feel so much lighter you will feel so much better and you know the relief is permanent that same situation that has triggered that feeling let's say let me give you a concrete example i uh, you know i like the mother of many you know grown daughters you probably will relate to this you know your daughter says something you you try to help give your advice you think you're helping <laughs> and she reacts you know don't meddle it's, i know what to do i know how to do it and you feel mortally injured and mortally you know uh, hurt and uh, you argues it, it, it leads inevitably often into an argument you know when family gatherings we know how those things happen very quickly um, so if you just stop and, and and catch yourself and and feel the feeling you know say excuse yourself for a couple of minutes and go away and sit down and feel your your, your feelings you will find that you can go back to that dinner table or that situation and resume that conversation and you will just go okay whatever <laughs> it doesn't hurt anymore that's what's really incredible it almost happens for some things it happens instantly for me it happened instantly i think we're all different so obviously you know our situations will be different but you know i know that for me uh my situation with my daughter my relationship has improved ex miraculously and you know within just within just a couple of weeks uh, two three weeks of doing this every time i felt bad about a situation or a phone call or whatever i would just resort to this letting go to this surrendering to my feelings and the energy will dissipate about it and then i go back and i can talk and i'm not feeling like i'm i used to feel everything personally and i and if somebody was hurting a friend of mine would call me i feel so bad for them and i feel so you know I'm not being helpful when I'm feeling the pain of others. I am not. You might think because you feel bad for other people that you're helping them. You're not. You can only help them if you're clear, if your energy is clear, and if you actually are able to listen to them and offer advice that is clear of hurt. When you talk to them, then your energy will be pure and they're able to hear it. If you are in the same level of pain, you're just bouncing off of each other, really. You know, having them uh, not really, not really benefit from your energy at all. The healing comes from you being healed, and you have to clear your energy for that. 
because it's not even so much our words. We can say exactly the same thing, but if my energy is a lot lighter, if I don't hurt behind it, when I say the same thing to my boyfriend or my daughter or you know, my business partner, it will be received completely differently. This is what really is incredible and it's fun. You're gonna, have, you're gonna find for yourself how incredible this is. It's, it's a beautiful thing. It works miraculously. It's, it, it works in every circumstance. I do this surrendering with everything. Everything that triggers me, everything that makes me feel unhappy, I resort to it. And sometimes I find myself surrendering. In the middle of the night, I wake up, something wakes me up, and I'm thinking about the situation, and I just start surrendering. And it's true for even ailments, problems that I have, you know, pains that I have in my body and others. And it's really, really, really powerful, powerful beyond words. As we keep doing this, Dr. Hawkins says that we, you know, we achieve higher levels of consciousness. I truly believe that. In Kabbalah, they tell you that the less we react and the closer to God we are. And so that's really, it's, it's something that we find across spiritual and creeds and religions. And it's really about being less judgmental, being less, um, uh, we don't have to compare ourselves. We just accept and surrender and and we come up with productive solutions. We are able to help in tangible ways. We're able to be uh, uh, the pure positive energy. And that pure positive energy is power. And that power is the opposite of forcing, of being feeling bad, of demonstrating and going to, you know, screaming at each other and trying to, you know, in influence others through arguments and, and opinions that, that are hurtful to each other. That's not how you change the world. We change the world by changing ourselves. This is a cliche, but it's so true. And as you experience that the, the feeling of taking get, care of of your neg negative feelings and you see how they affect your life and the people around you and your circumstances, you are going to be a convert. I promise you, please give it a try. And better than that, do it. It's simple, it's easy, it's free. It's something you can do and, and experience yourself and find and see the result immediately. And um, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to write me, to call me, to, you know, um, uh, ask me uh, how to do this. Or give me, I can help you with specific situations. I've, I feel like if we all just try to do this, and I've, I have experienced it myself and people around me, I, I keep saying it's miraculous because I can't find better word. It's really what it is. So thank you for listening to me. I would like to come back to you with more videos about this. This is so incredibly important. Uh, it's so healing. I want to hear from you. I beg you, pass it on, uh, share it with others, and go to the articles that I wrote about it. Um, I have a link below, or you go to the book. You know that was written, the original book. You know, if you want to sit down and read a 400-page book that is magnificent and well worth it, then really please do. I um, urge you to give it a try. So this is Wafa, I'm the author of The Road from Morocco. Thank you for your time, and until next time, bye.